Our cities are facing serious challenges, like increasing population growth, forcing massive development. In response, the Boston Planning and Development Agency and ESRI formed a partnership to design a solution, ArcGIS Urban, which orchestrates urban development and planning workflows, providing a common solution for planners, architects, developers, and citizens. The BPDA is responsible for economic development and planning by tracking indicators that impact our decisions. Population growth is occurring between our historic downtown Boston and Dorchester. At an average of 80 large development projects a year citywide, growth at this scale requires thoughtful planning. The Dorchester Avenue Planning Initiative, or DOT-AV as we like to call it in Boston, was launched to proactively reimagine a 21st century industrial use corridor. Let me ask my friend Brooks from Esri to walk you through the redesign of DOT-AV. Let's dive into DOT-AV and using Arctis Urban, plan this very special neighborhood of Boston in 3D in the web browser. Zoning determines what you can build and what you can't on a piece of property. Building use, dimensional requirements, and densities. And typically, zoning code is legal text, paragraphs, and can be very cumbersome to interpret. But Arctis Urban can be calibrated to the local zoning code and can apply it in scenario planning. The baseline scenario determines how much land is financially feasible for development today comparing land use, vacancy, and year built. Here we've identified these properties. We can see a likely development pattern if no changes were made to the current zoning. Using ArcGIS Urban, we can propose new zoning changes and explore build-out scenarios based on that underlying zoning code for places like Dot Avenue here. Engaging in a discussion with citizens and developers on how much is enough or how much more is needed. Here in this proposed scenario, the development potential changes dramatically. You have new building heights, new building uses. These are plausible building forms based on the underlying zoning constraints. The dashboard shows a high intensity of residential throughout this plan. To balance the space use, let's add a bit more office. Let's edit the zoning on this parcel from residential to office. Here in the parcel editor, we can override the zoning district. These settings help visualize the 3D form of the potential project that could legally be built. Let's lower the maximum building height to 200 feet. We can also specify multi-level setbacks for the building, preserving our view down Dot Avenue towards our downtown. And finally, we can create a building type by assigning space use, transforming this residential tower to an office tower. Let's check our results. We can immediately see how these changes would impact our view corridor down Dot Avenue towards our historic downtown. In addition to measuring the amount of building construction, we can also estimate growth capacity for key indicators, such as total population, the number of households, and jobs. Arcgis Urban provides a central overview of active plans like Dot Avenue and active projects like Washington Village and relieves development pressures, which are largely due to a disconnect between a developer's proposed project and the zoning. Arcgis Urban is a new solution product created to improve urban planning and decision-making for your community, connecting government, the private sector, and citizens a new generation of focused solutions. Thanks, Brooks. The BPDA's development review. <laughs> the BPDA's development review and urban design teams are really excited about ArcGIS Urban because it can facilitate small projects and large projects through the initial review, board approved, and permitted. One such project is 115 Winthrop Square, right in the heart of downtown Boston. 
Visualizing a new building in its surrounding context minimizes unnecessary bottlenecks, offering better collaboration with real estate developers and project details can be provided to better engage with citizens and improve understanding. Using ArcGIS Urban, we can run each project through a standard impact evaluation. For example, using an earlier version of the tools, measuring shadows, shown here in red, across the historic Boston Common. And in the case of Winthrop Square, this led to a reduction in building height. We now have a standard process to evaluate projects and plans moving forward. To see the impacts from each of our active development projects, like new housing. ArcGIS Urban delivers a growing amount of urban data and analytics into the hands of planners and citizens. This collaborative platform ensures a more economically prosperous, resilient, and vibrant city for generations. Thank you. Thank you.